Well, what I do when I get stung by bees now is instead of concentrating on pain or swelling or any of that other stuff, is try to taste what the venom actually tastes like and then figure out what flower or what they've been pollinating made such a... So, you know, sometimes when a bee stings you, it doesn't hurt very much, but it swells. Crazy. Uh, sometimes uh, it doesn't swell at all, but it hurts like hell uh, and it burns. And sometimes it just makes a little red blood blister even uh, and it just crazy burn. And so, but the, the whole time all that's happening, there's a poison or a venom that's being released into your system and you can actually taste that on your tongue. So you can taste that they've been forging on garlic and you can taste that they've been forging on onion. And so if you concentrate on what that venom is tastes like, which is kind of weird, but still possible. Uh, if you concentrate on what it tastes like, then the pain and all that other stuff kind of goes away into, oh, because your mind uh, knows what it's doing. So it takes, it concentrates on what's what the value of the venom. Now the other thing that uh, 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 bee venom does is it makes you release collagen, uh, and, uh, which is what the swelling is all about. And when you release collagen, uh, then those that collagen repairs uh, tendons and ligaments and stuff like that. Uh, so people with arthritis uh, that are beekeepers don't really suffer uh, from the arthritis like people that are not beekeepers. Like me, I had a finger. This finger was crushed by a pipe and it used to not move. And so when I would talk to people, because I use my hands a lot, they would say, my friends would say, stop pointing at me. And I would say, hey, I'm not pointing at you. My finger doesn't work. And then I started working with bees, and my one friend Rick, uh, Stefan, uh, he, goes, he goes, hey, you're not pointing at me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, what an asshole. And he goes, no, dude, look at your finger. And I looked down, and as I was talking, my finger was moving, which it hadn't moved in three years or four years. And I was like, wow, my finger's moving. And uh, then I noticed that my tendon that used to run this way down my hand has now moved over. And I don't know if you can see that, but my tendon has shifted because of the collagen and it now works so it's a really weird thing so it somehow you see that Higher. okay look can you see that mm -hmm. so this is you would have been the tendon for that finger but somehow this it joined into that tendon don't ask me how and it works anyway so uh, that's the, to me and the doctor guy who had done the stitching and all that other stuff on the finger when I showed it to him he pointed out the different tendons and ligaments and stuff like that and he said that it had joined uh, to the middle fingers uh, tendon and that the collagen had helped the remodeling of that whole thing so but my hand works because of bees. <laughs>